This is Tom Mackey and today I'm going over the six best vitamins for your nerve pain and we're starting right now. So here's kind of the biggest thing about nerve pain is 90% of the time I see people confused about their nerve pain and I know there's a million videos online with generic advice and we love vitamins. Like I buy a ton of vitamins. I buy a lot of these different things because realistically, how nice would it be if we just took a pill and it kind of solved all our problems? In a lot of my other videos, I have people saying, hey, this one pill did change my life. So I thought it would be crazy not to make this video. So many people reach out to me saying, hey, this specific vitamin changed my life. But with that being said, I'm gonna go over my other videos. I go over basically the top 10 reasons why you have nerve pain. So running down the list, number one, there are diseases out there. There's advanced diseases like multiple sclerosis. There's, uh, you know, like Lou Gehrig's disease, all this kind of stuff. Realistically, this video uh, might not fix those specific issues, but also, does it start in your lower back? I have a guide for that. Does it start in your butt? I have a guide for that. Is it your sciatic nerve running down your leg? I have a guide for that. Is it peripheral neuropathy? I have a guide for that specifically. Is it heel nerve compression? Guide. A ball of the foot compression. There's a guide down there. Is it tarsal tunnel on the inside of your ankle? It could be. It could be all of these things. And a vitamin will not fix these things. Check out some of the videos we have below, but otherwise we're starting with the top six vitamins right now. So number one is the B vitamins. These are the most recommended. They're in a lot of foods. They're in a lot of daily multivitamins. So there's B1, there's B2, and there's B3. So these are great vitamins. They're kind of low risk. You know, I know uh, there's ways to get them like an IV form that are advanced routes. There are expensive prescription medications, which are like high dosages of B vitamins. But the reality is you can go to a doctor like myself or your internal medicine doctor, and you can get a blood panel. You can see if you're deficient in your B vitamins, but at the same time, getting a daily multivitamin can be very, very beneficial at the same time for you. There's hardly any cost. There's hardly any risk. You know, always check with your doctor. When I say hardly, there's always some risk, you know. But B vitamins, there are some studies that show significant improvement. So specifically, there's a few reviews in 2017, 2005, 2008. Basically, nerve regeneration can go up and nerve pain can go down. Is it massive? The reality is it's not massive, but if you're really deficient, the B vitamin can make a big, big difference. So that's our number one vitamin. And also B vitamins are found in meats, seafoods, vegetables, of course. There's a lot of other foods, but eat healthy. You know, eat your vegetables, eat your fish, eat your meats. Number two, this is actually one that I feel like people respond to me saying, hey, alpha lipoic acid, you gotta tell people about this because Taking this one thing has made all my pain go away. And listen, that's not my story. That's some of the patient stories that I have heard. So alpha lipoic acid. So it's recommended that the average person get like 600 to 1200 milligrams. That's kind of the daily recommended values. It's an antioxidant. And what happens with alpha lipoic acid, it is in some food. So it's in, in liver, in red meats, it's in broccoli, it's in spinach, and it's in Brussels sprouts. Those are some foods, so always eat your greens especially if you're a diabetic. There's a 2021 study that it drops your blood sugars, improves your nerve pain, gets you healthier. But at the same time, is eating broccoli and healthy stuff do that for you anyway? I would say so. But that's one personally that sticks out for me because I've had a lot of patients tell me about how great alpha lipoic acid has been for them. And 2021 study does show the same thing. Acetyl L-carnitine. This is an amino acid. So essentially you can get 500 milligrams two times per day in a supplement form. This has also been proven by studies. So a 2016 study showed that it did improve symptoms noticeably in peripheral neuropathy patients. It's found in meat, fish, chicken, dairy. So the reality is if you're getting a nice uh, varied source of food or a supplement, uh, some studies have shown that this could help. I don't personally have a lot of experience in this, but I have uh, seen these studies. n acetyl cysteine so NAC. This is an antioxidant and amino acid. So this is another one. I don't have a ton of experience with it, but some studies do show that this can be beneficial. 
it's not naturally found in food. That's why you might have not heard of it. So it's not in natural food, but it can be supplemented. So a 2010 study showed that basically getting 1200 milligrams per day has been very efficient in this vitamin that can make a big difference for you. Again, it's not really found naturally occurring in food. I don't have a ton of experience with this, but this study does show that it helped. Another one's curcumin. You know what, am I pronouncing that correctly? I don't know. Realistically, I don't prescribe these a ton. This is from the herb turmeric. And I'm gonna be honest with you, do I prescribe these more advanced ones? Not a ton, but these studies are very eye-opening, you know? And I do have patients more and more as I get more reach coming back to me saying, hey, this stuff really, really does make a big difference. So this is really opening my eyes too. And turmeric does help as an anti-inflammatory. There's a lot of people that rave about this stuff. So also consider that as an anti-inflammatory, you know, check with your doctor first officially. It's found in the foods, you know, turmeric powder. Uh, is that naturally occurring? Probably not the most natural, but you can get it as a supplement form. Uh, it's sold everywhere now. You know, I know online there's a lot of options for that. And a 2014 study showed that this really did reduce symptoms. So it reduced it quite a bit. So that can make a big difference. Is it worth trying? It's probably worth trying, you know, if you're suffering. And number six is fish oil. So this is a big one for weight loss, for nerve symptoms. So the big thing here that I found, and I read a lot about fish oils, you know, uh, because, you know, for weight loss, for nerve pain, the big thing here is there's a lot of cheap, crappy fish oils for sale. So what you really want is the good fish oils. There's a lot of bad fat mixed in with the fish oils. So what happens is there's some of these fish oils tablets for sale that are like 99% crappy fish oil with a small amount of good fish oil. And you're probably better off not even taking those. That's one thing to consider. So get the ones that are the true good healthy fish oils that make up the vast majority. And a better method is to probably just get it straight from the healthy foods. So uh, you know, get your cold water fish, your salmon, your sardines, your canola oil, your walnuts, your chia seeds, your flax seeds, your mackerel, your cod liver, your herring, and even in oysters. Although oysters are kind of gross, I don't recommend those. But you know, maybe maybe other people have different tastes than me. And fish oils have really been proven: 2.4 milligrams to like 5.4 mil grams. Sorry, I should say 2.4 grams to 5.4 grams. Very, very beneficial, you know? So fish oils are definitely good. The B vitamins are definitely good. I hear a lot about the alpha lipoic acid. So a lot of patients personally have told me about the alpha lipoic acid making a huge difference. You know, the turmeric powder can make a big difference too. The other two, I don't really have a ton of experience with. The acetyl L-carnitine and the N-acetyl cysteine, I don't have a ton of experience, but the studies definitely do show some benefit. And the big thing is check out my top 10 guides. I list the videos for specific neuropathy compression because a vitamin probably won't fix your compression pain. You have to fix the symptoms and it's very, very correctable for a lot of patients. In my opinion, the vast majority are not a systemic problem. They are a biomechanical problem, but that doesn't mean you don't have systemic problems too. So always get diagnosed. That's the big disclaimer. If that helped, check out some of our related nerve pain videos. We go over it all. Heel pain, ball of the foot pain, ankle numbness, back of the knee, back of the butt, lower back. So there's some basic stuff you can do. Subscribe, give us a like. It really makes a big difference for us, and we appreciate you.